Welcome back to the e-learning on business analysis body of knowledge, Babak version 3.0. In this module, we are discussing the fifth knowledge area of Babak, requirements analysis and design. Specify and model requirements is the very first task in the requirements analysis and design knowledge area. Purpose of specify and model requirements is to analyze, synthesize, and refine elicitation results into solution requirements and designs. Guidelines and tools for the task specify and model requirements are, modeling notations and standards, modeling tools, requirements architecture, requirements life cycle management tools, and, solution scope. Input for the task specify and model requirements are elicitation results in any state. All stakeholders can participate in this task. This is a valuable tip to remember. Outputs for the task specify and model requirements are specified and modeled requirements. Techniques for the task specify and model requirements are, acceptance and evaluation criteria, business capability analysis, business model canvas, business rules analysis, concept modeling, data dictionary, data flow diagrams, data modeling, decision modeling, functional decomposition, gloss. Airy, Interface analysis, non-functional requirements analysis, organizational modeling, process modeling, prototyping, roles and permissions matrix, root cause analysis, scope modeling, sequence diagrams, stakeholder list, map, or personas, state modeling, use cases and scenarios, and user story. Yes. Elements of specify and model requirements task are, 1. Model requirements, 2. Analyze requirements, 3. Represent requirements and attributes, and 4. Implement appropriate levels of abstractions. All of us would have heard the term, requirements models in our workplaces. What are models? What are the advantages of modeling requirements? Are models really necessary? Models abstract and simplify reality in a useful way. Models are not intended to be complete descriptions of reality. Models can be matrices and diagrams. Matrices, used to model complex requirements with uniform structure. Tables are the simplest form of matrices. Many often, we do get confused with a similar sounding word, metrics. Metrics refers to measurements and numbers. Diagrams, visual representation of requirements. Model categories typically include, people and roles, rationale, activity flow, capability, data, and information etc. There are multiple types of model classes that we encounter in business analysis. Let us study each of them. Model class people and roles represent organizational structure aspects. Techniques used for people and roles are, organization models, Roles and permissions matrix, stakeholder list, maps and personas, process models, and use cases. Model class rationale represents why of a change. Techniques used for representing rationale are, decision modeling, 
scope modeling, business model canvas, root cause analysis, and business rules analysis. Model class activity flow represents sequence of actions and events. Techniques used for representing activity flow are process model, use case, and scenarios, and user stories. Model class capabilities represents features and functions of a solution. Techniques used for representing capabilities are business capability analysis, functional decomposition, and prototyping. Model class data and information represents characteristics, and exchange of information. Techniques used for model class data and information are, data dictionary, data flow diagram, data modeling, glossary, state modeling, and interface analysis. Once we have modeled the requirements, we need to analyze requirements. Requirements analysis helps to examine, oh any missing or unnecessary components, oh any constraints or assumptions, and oh conclude on the solution options. After we do so, we get into further details like representing requirements, and their attributes. It is essential to explicitly specify requirements in sufficient detail for incorporating in the solution. Once we have explicitly stated the requirements and their attributes, we should present requirements at appropriate levels of abstraction. What could be the reason? It makes a lot of sense to produce different viewpoints of requirements for different stakeholders. This is because, all stakeholders might not find value in the complete set of requirements and models. So, we should provide them with the provision of viewing what they require. Congratulations on completing the first task, specify and model requirements, of requirements analysis and design knowledge area. We will continue our exciting learning journey on requirements analysis and design knowledge area in our subsequent modules.